greatest propaganda machine in history. Let's think about it. Facebook, YouTube, and Google, Twitter, and others, they reach billions of people. The algorithms these platforms depend on deliberately amplify the type of content that keeps users engaged. It's why fake news outperforms real news, because studies show that lies spread faster than truth. Today, around the world, demagogues appeal to our worst instincts. Conspiracy theories once confined to the fringe are going mainstream. It's as if the age of reason, the era of evidential argument, is ending, and now knowledge is increasingly delegitimized and scientific consensus is dismissed. Hate crimes are surging, as are murderous attacks on religious and ethnic minorities. Now, what do all these dangerous trends have in common? I'm just a comedian and an actor, I'm not a scholar, but one thing is pretty clear to me. All this hate and violence is being facilitated by a handful of internet companies that amount to the greatest propaganda machine in history. On the internet, everything can appear equally legitimate. Breitbart resembles the BBC. The fictitious protocols of the elders of Zion look as valid as an ADL report. And the rantings of a lunatic seem as credible as the findings of a Nobel Prize winner. Voltaire was right when he said, those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. And social media lets authoritarians push absurdities to billions of people. I believe that it's time for a fundamental rethink of social media and how it spreads hate, conspiracies, and lies. Now, last month, however, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook delivered a major speech that, not surprisingly, warned against new laws and regulations on companies like his. Well, some of these arguments are simply, pardon my French, bullshit. Now, if a neo-Nazi comes goose-stepping into a restaurant and starts threatening other customers and saying he wants to kill Jews, would the owner of the restaurant, a private business, be required to serve him an elegant eight-course meal? Of course not. The restaurant owner has every legal right, and indeed, I would argue, a moral obligation to kick that Nazi out, and so do these internet companies. If you pay them, Facebook will run any political ad you want, even if it's a lie. And they'll even help you micro-target those lies to their users for maximum effect. Under this twisted logic, if Facebook were around in the 1930s, it would have allowed Hitler to post 30-second ads on his solution to the Jewish problem. So here's a good standard and practice. Facebook, start fact-checking political ads before you run them. Stop micro-targeted lies immediately. And when the ads are false, give back the money and don't publish them.